Welcome to Living Fuel TV. This is Casey Krejci. So you drive your car into the gas station, you open the gas lid and you put it in the nozzle and you fill the tank and then you have it click it a few times until it runs down the side of the car. Then you proceed to the, to the back seat and you roll the back window down and you fill the back seat with fuel. Your car has about as much capacity to deal with that extra fuel in the back seat as your body does when you eat too much of the wrong kinds of fuel. This is the basic problem for much of what's going on in the nation today with our health. Too much fuel, and particularly in the form of carbohydrates, too many carbohydrates, results in things like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, increased body fat, and so many other disorders, and including diabetes and so on. So, a couple of weeks ago we discussed statin drugs because so many people are concerned about their cholesterol to the point it literally changes the way they eat. Many times I'll be at the omelet line and I just enjoy standing there and hear people order egg white omelets. Now, I often eat an egg white omelet because at a particular time where I'm looking to get more protein in a situation without bringing on additional calories, but most people eat egg white omelets because they don't want to increase their cholesterol levels or they feel they have a cholesterol issue. Just yesterday, I was with an individual who is very concerned about his cholesterol because I guess his doctors told him he had too high cholesterol. His cholesterol level was 205. So his cholesterol levels were too high and he literally was taking a lot of supplements and doing a lot of things and avoiding fats and avoiding egg yolks and so on so that his cholesterol, he could help manage his cholesterol. So first of all folks, cholesterol level of 200 or 205 is not high cholesterol. In fact, it's almost ideal. Basically, 200 is ideal as long as you have at least 25% of that in the forms of your HDL cholesterol. So it's really not the cholesterol level itself that's causing the issue. Most people, or many people, have too low, too low of HDL or good cholesterol. So the point here is that First of all, cholesterol is a number, and we shouldn't be just treating a number. We should be looking at other aspects of health. But avoiding fats made it clear that people are not understanding still how cholesterol gets high. And so using the example of the car and the overfueling, when people eat too many carbohydrates, the body becomes very efficient in converting those extra carbohydrates into LDL cholesterol, the quote, bad cholesterol, although there is no bad cholesterol, and and triglycerides, which, are, which is basically the body converting sugars to fat. So when you have high triglycerides and high cholesterol, most of the time, unless you have a genetic situation, most of the time it's because of overeating of carbohydrates. Now a couple of weeks ago we got into the discussion about statin drugs and the issues regarding statin drugs. I continue to meet people who are on statin drugs and have been for years and their cholesterol levels are in the 150 or below. And in that video, in that Living Fuel TV show, we discussed how lower cholesterol levels actually bring on more mortality from all causes than normal cholesterol levels for sure, and also higher levels of suicide and depression and so on. So think about these lipids, these cholesterol in your body, the body uses them, the cholesterol, for a lot of things. The body uses cholesterol to make bile acid uh, for the stomach, the body uses cholesterol to make hormones, and so on and so forth. So so it, the cholesterol is very important. So statin drugs, if you are on statin drugs, please, first of all, look at your cholesterol levels. If you're below 200 or around 200, you really don't need to be on statin drugs. Talk to your doctor about that. But secondly, if, uh, statin, if you're on statin drugs and you insist on being statin drugs, uh, taking statin drugs, then consider taking coenzyme Q10 also, ubiquinone or ubiquinol, either one. CoQ10 is important because statins block the production of CoQ10 and cause a, a myopathy and such of the heart and other muscles in the body. So, there's a, just to, to confirm that, Merck Corporation in the 1990s got a patent on the combination of statins and CoQ10, yet they've never introduced that concept to the market. It is very clear and widely known in scientific circles that statins compromise CoQ10 and CoQ10 is important for life itself. So if you're taking statins, take CoQ10, but there's a better way. If you change your diet the way we discuss it around here, if you re reduce the white carbohydrates and the grains and you increase quality protein and vegetables, a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens and bright colored vegetables, and, and eliminate the sweet drinks, 
then your cholesterol most likely will fall like a rock, a rock as will your triglycerides. So this is really simple, straightforward stuff, and I guarantee you, you don't have a statin deficiency. Hope this was helpful to you. God bless you, and have a great day.